Welcome on in, everyone. It's the last two games of the home and away season. The Tigers looking for a position inside the top four. Their finals position locked in. They play North Melbourne, who still have a small chance at making the top eight. Uh, and the Tigers are looking to quell those chances here today as uh, North and through Jai Simkin have won the toss and they'll be keeping to the right of screen. So here we go. Nankervis and Goldstein in the middle. It's Nankervis. Got it down towards Taranto. This bloke got his arms free. Should be pinged. Holding the ball, he is. The Tigers with the first opportunity. Short sends it inside 50. Lynch is down there. So is Mackay. And we'll get a stoppage at the top of the goal square for the Tigers. North Melbourne looking to keep their season alive. That's a good kick. Terrible handball. Turned it over immediately. And inside 50, McIntosh. Right place, right time. Was on the lead. He's kicked three goals for the year, Camden. And he's put that through for the Tigers first. Here are the MCG. It's just contest after contest at the moment. And the Tigers will win out here. Taranto, his kick, not great, but it works. So it must have been okay. Ryan, to name Curvis. The big man from just inside the 50. And he's hit the post. Which, the only reason I knew that is because I felt it vibrate on my controller. I did not see the ball there. I'm sure many of you would not have seen the ball either. Taranto gets it away. Jack Graham, he's on the run from outside the paint. Has he made it work? He has! 2 2 14. The Tigers. North Melbourne yet to score. Oh, punched. Gee, they're, they're not using any sort of brain power here at all, are they, North Melbourne? How have you missed? Hang on a minute. How has he missed? Oh. Give the hands. You know you want to give the hands. I don't know how that was given as 15 metres because it looked like a four metre kick. Anyway, Bauer will kick the Tigers' third goal of the opening term. And this has been an absolute shellacking. No matter which way you look at it. North are in all sorts here. Their season crumbling around them. And the fact that I've probably missed so many shots at goal is flattered them on the scoreboard as well. From the middle. Rewalt. Didn't get to him. There's the siren. Quarter time. Tigers fans happy with that one. Tigers in control. This is Bolton with a handball to short. We can load up from just on 50 and put it through. That is clinical as you like for the Tigers. Just inside the Telstra logo. Good tackle on. Dusty with a short ball towards Bauer. He didn't get it. And Bolton bends it. That's somehow going to work. That is an absolute shank of a kick that has come off to Taranto. So this will have to be his very best, Tim. And it is. So thanks for coming. If you're a North Melbourne fan, I'd be tuning out of the video now. Get him. No, doesn't get him. Broad. It's actually Zebel. North want to get on the board and Jack Zebel has provided the goods. Well done to him. Out towards Lynch and that is half time and it's a 30 point lead if you take away one of those. So it's 29 points in favour of the Tigers, a two goal to one second term. But we can pretty much assume this game is over. So let's just skip to the end of it and I'll tell you the score. So Dusty going the top from long range. It's coming back. Has it got the carry? He's kicked it. That is a monster. Oh yes, and that is a well-deserved celebration too. Absolutely taking the P155. And the North Melbourne fans disappointed there. This is a barrel. And it comes back. Get in. Was at the back. Dusty just threw it. And that is full time. So it is a 42-point Richmond victory. North Melbourne season over. But Richmond, very happy with that result. Wow-wee. So, 
The Tigers have propelled themselves inside the top four in a matchup will take place against Port Adelaide that will determine whether or not they make the top four. They are now currently sitting in third. There are 13 teams still in contention for finals with one round to play. Uh, Brisbane plays St Kilda, so the winner of that will temporarily move into eighth spot. If Brisbane win, they are in. So St Kilda would need to win to keep the hopes alive of a number of these teams, which would be the Giants and Carlton, who also play off in a mini in an elimination final where only the winner could potentially make it. But as if Brisbane win, it's all over and they will be playing finals. So between third and seventh is still not locked in. And between eighth and 13th is still not locked in. What a finish to the season we have coming. Now, just a quick reminder, the winner of this game will go on to play uh, against Geelong in the first week of finals. So for Richmond, that is effectively a home qualifying final should they go on to win. The journey is long, but one will endure. We'll play a Richmond way and a win will ensure. A loss would see Port Adelaide Jump into the four. What is this angle? It's not even straight. What is going on? It run away. It's Finn Layson and, and Nankervis in the middle. For the opening bounce of the game. Kick not great. Pickett has had a really good start to this game. Kick out wide. Found Cochin in the end who sort of teleported to that mark and he went to Lynch. It's the Tigers with a bit of breeze in their favour here in this opening term. Tom Lynch, he's been very good the last sort of month of football for the Tigers after just getting his way back into the side. That kick is okay, and it's just left. Got it towards Bolton. Handballed it to Lynch. Can he have a shot? He can, but I think it's offline. It's the Tigers with the attacking press early. Three plays, nothing. As North worked out at the fence terribly. Samson Ryan will have a shot. Lots of wind. He's only kicked the two goals for the season, Big Samson. And that's going to curve straight through. And he's up. And he's about. No mark taken on that occasion. Run down from behind was the Tigers. Now Ryan also got his hands free. Then it ended up in the hands of Rosie, perhaps. Up towards Dixon. Pow Pepper again. Back to Dixon. Handball that towards. Might have been Boak. And he can't quite hit Rioli on the leads. The Tigers with a nine-point advantage at quarter time. And they're currently live ladder inside the eight. The Tigers through hands. Ryan inside 50. Rewalt. Got it. Shouldn't be an issue for Jack here. 28 directly in front. The way the wind is going. It should not be a problem. And he slots it. 2-5-17. The Tigers put out a yet to score. Dixon marks it on half time. The Tigers very happy with that. 17 point advantage at the half. It's not get, uh, ungettable from a Port Adelaide point of view, but they really have to lift if they are any sort of hope of winning this game and putting themselves in the top four. Otherwise, the Tigers will be in for a qualifying final against the Cats. If you just play on correctly, you can actually get yourself some space. Prestia with a high footy. Inside 50, Rewald is down there, and he has come alive. He's currently leading the Coleman, and he's come alive in a season where he really didn't have a, fir a good like first half of it. That's kept low and through. So that's a 23-point advantage now. And Port Adelaide could be fumbling a position in the top four. Aaliyah got over the top. Burn Jones just hacked it out of there, went towards McKenzie. Cochin put the fist in there. And then they go in through the middle, and now they're away. Finlayson sends it forward. Baker in the one on one. Gets the fist through. Bergman forward, and again, Rioli playing from behind. And that is 50 metres, if you ask me, umpire. But instead, he's paid the free kick to a Rioli, who will uh, get it. Just, just sneak it in. Can't be long left in the quarter. Prestia 
Got it away, Rosie. His kick was backwards about 20 metres to the top of the goal square. Not sure you'd be instructing that as a good decision. And Taranto will have to have a go here from a long way out. Right on three-quarter time. Taranto's kick is coming back. It got there! <laughs> oh, that was a real Jordan Dawson level kick. Oh, I just needed any excuse to say it's coming back. I need to see the replay of that. We'll have to do it at the start of the last quarter. What a goal. That might have just secured Richmond a spot in the top four. That goal from Tim Taranto. 4-5-29 the Tigers. Port Adelaide just the one goal today. All right, so here's the angle of Taranto's kick. It almost Does it almost swing? Oh, that is ex it's an extraordinary way for it to come back. Like... It came back so late. As options inside the 50. That's a short one to Rosie. Surely you line up from there. Now this is where Taranto just kicked it from. So I know how difficult this kick is. Connor Rosie. He was about 10 metres closer, but he still made it work. Terrific stuff. The power get the first, the last. And the clearance. Where's that to McIntosh? He finds short. Yeah, he's off. He's well and truly off short. And he just go, <laughs> sends it in. Terrific stuff. That is too bloody good. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Rioli, this time finally. He's able to outmark from behind, though. Handball to Rosie. Can he get two in the last? He does. So it's opened up here. Port Adelaide kick two in the last quarter off the back of Connor Rosie. So a 16 point Richmond lead. They will take the advantage from that free kick and they're away. Hopper has a couple of bounces, has a third. Goes long and strong. And that, if you weren't sure, is one of the classiest finishes. Of the day. Jacob Hopper, take a bow. The lead up to 22 points. Richmond will secure a top four finish. And they will play the Cats in the first week of the finals. What a resurgence in the second half of our year to get us to this point. 6-5-41, 3-1-19. So bloody good. Inside 50's even, but our defense was just far too good for them. Um, and you can see we were able to rebound a lot easier than they were. Rewalt had a couple. Uh, and with the ball, Prestia, Cochin, and Pickett was actually very good in defense. But look at the intercept marks here. Pickett, Broad, Vlosten, Baker. Richmond just all over them. Let's take a look at how the finals will be. Carlton agonisingly finishing in ninth after winning their last five games of the year. To almost make the top eight, they finished a game behind the Lions who were 12 and 11, scraping into eighth position. Uh, and who else was there? North Melbourne also winning in the last round to keep them in the hunt, but Brisbane beating St Kilda. They've won four in a row heading into the finals. Um, so that is that is where we're at. So there's your first week of the finals. We'll do the qualifying final in the next video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series. I know we've sort of, it's, it's, it's been very rushed, let's be honest, uh, towards the back end of it. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, we're in the system finals action now. Continues tomorrow. Get excited.